Are you a beginner looking to add some floral beauty to your paintings? If so, you've come to the right place. Today we are going to show you the easiest way to paint flowers, step by step. For this painting, we're getting out our watercolors and don't worry if you're not the best at drawing, just follow along with us and I'll show you exactly how to paint this flower. This method of painting flowers is really easy for beginners, uses just a few colors and a really loose method. I'm going to show you how to achieve a wonderful and beautiful look easily and quickly in just a few minutes. Here I am reaching into my paints and I'm just going to go in using a few blobs as the shape. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be because this is what it's all about. It's loose and it's an easy flower. So you'll see I'm just making some really simple loose petals. This is why it's easy for beginners because it's just going in with instinct and just making it happen. Once I've got this bit, I'm just reaching into some water, doing the petals on the sides, really easy, simple brush, and I'm going to just tap it out and make some dots all around, some little splotches. I love how the splotches looks. It just kind of overflows onto the page. I think it creates a really nice look. Here I am doing the same again with a dark color. I'm using red and also just going in with a super loose shape and feel here. Once I've reached into the color, I'm just going to dab a little bit of a darker tone on the bottom just to give some dimension and I'm going to do that on the top flower as well. And this is why it's so simple and easy because it's just dotting in some color. So here we are with the third one, just slightly darker, same technique going in with a bit of water, a bit of paint, back and forth. A little bit of a darker color in the bottom, just to add some emphasis and dimension, dabbing out the color with splotches. It's also really great for beginners. So once we've got that bit, I'm gonna mix up some green and use the same brush just going in with the sap green and here i'm going to turn the brush to the side and just draw a simple line going down for the stem i'm also just dotting a little bit of the darker green at the base of the flower before i go in with the stem Probably one of my favorite techniques. Have you ever tried it before? Let me know in the comments down below what kind of flowers you like to paint. And here we go, just with the stem. Very easily, simple, the side of the brush. And there we go. It's really easy to do this and it really doesn't take any drawing or any know-how at all. It's great for beginners, super loose painting. And if, even if you want to just be a little bit free for the moment, this is just for you as well. For the leaves, also just going to put the brush down, press a little bit and drag it into the stem. The other leaf I am going to go outwards, also just making a slight line and then pressing out. One of my favorite techniques of making leaves is just putting the brush down and dragging it out. Such an easy technique with only one brush, it almost feels like cheating. And it gives such a soft and delicate look. It's so free. Just really simple and easy. I 
After I've gone in with the leaves, I'm just going to take a little bit of a darker tone and dot that in at the stem and at the base of the leaves. Also just to add a little bit of a dimension and when it dries, it will pool a little bit. I like how the paint looks when it pools. It gives that darker edge and then slightly lighter and it just adds dimension and it's really easy. These flowers are all about creating splotches. They don't have to be perfect or uniform. It's all about having fun and letting your creativity flow. The details are all in the small dots and splotches and just a few colors. Anything can be unique and beautiful. This technique is fun and anyone can do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more painting tips and tricks and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.